Now there's one more really useful note, and that's uh, the eighth note over here. It's actually half of a quarter note because it's an eighth note, and it looks like this. Uh, you have a, uh, again, the note head. Let's label the parts here. The note head, the note stem, and then this part here is called a flag. Okay. Um, and it can be written like this. Now, when it's upside down, it's a little weird. It looks like this, like that. And this gets, if you can figure it out from a quarter, it gets half a beat, just a half a beat. And a rest simply looks like this. This is an eighth rest. Now, this means instead of one per beat, if you had, remember, if you have a, a quarter note, maybe it looks like this and it gets one, 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 right? But eighth notes look like this, where you might have, and it's really common to see them in pairs, and they'll look like this. And the way you write the numbers underneath, let's go with purple color here, is one, two, and, <clears throat> because they go twice as fast. So you got one, two, and, one, two, and, ba, 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 ba. You can see two of them fit in the same time that this happens. So it's kind of cool. You can make really fast music this way. You just go bup, 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 right? If you keep adding more eighth notes like this, just all the way through. Okay, so this will again would be, uh, what, three and, and then well, let's continue making four. Uh, maybe we can do uh, a quarter note, maybe. And then so this one would be ba, bup, ba, bup, ba, 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 bup, ba, bup, ba, 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 like that with the rhythm this is in four. Okay, and then we have our our new bar line here to keep us musically justified. Okay, oh, and then we need the number four, right? Okay, so one, two, and three, and four. Now, the same, let's write the same thing over here, uh, but I will show you a little, little shortcut kind of thing, a little way to make the music a little bit easier, because you can see, like, if you don't have the numbers here, it's kind of it might be, this might be too much to look at. So usually what they do, especially if there's two in a row or maybe even more in a row, they might group them like this. This is very common. And these are the same thing. These are the same thing. They're, this isn't one individual note, but this is kind of faster. You just draw one, you draw another, you put a stem, stem, and you connect them. This is similar to how if you're writing like the word better or something, maybe you'll write B-E-T-T -T like that. You'll uh, put two lines like this, and we all know it's just T, T, right? So it's kind of like that, and you're right better, okay? So something like that. Uh, it's just easier to look at, easier to write, that kind of thing, okay? And then we'll finish the measure off like this with one more quarter note. And this, these are played the exact same way. So you would write the numbers again. One, two, and three, and four, like that. And you can imagine, like, there's an and here that's being held in this one, and there's an and here that's being held in this one, and then you would complete your measure with the bar line here. Okay? Cool. Um, so there's one more thing that's a little more interesting, a little bit more chaotic, uh, is you can actually fit a note right in here, and it looks like this. Just like we have a dotted whole note and a dotted half note, uh, you can do a dotted quarter note. You can put a dot on anything. Remember, a dot simply equals half of whatever it's attached to. So we put a dotted, see if I can fit all this in here, dotted quarter note dotted quarter note, and this is a uh, dotted quarter rest, of course, dotted quarter rest, dotted quarter rest, okay, and this one, if you can do the math, remember, this equals one, this equals half of whatever it's attached to, so this is half of one, one plus a half equals one and a half, one and a half beats one and a half beats like that, okay? So let's see how we can use this in music. Again, we're still in four all the way through. I'll put another four here just to keep us sane. Uh, and then so we'll, we'll start, we'll go ahead and start off with this note and I'll use the same color just to make it clear. Okay, so we have our dotted quarter note. Now it's usually found with this and we'll keep it really simple here and just keep it with this, okay? So you have this. Uh, and we'll let's just do one more just to even out the measure or you know what well let's flip it and you can see two different versions of this uh, and maybe we can kind of cut this 
uh, measure in half to make it uh, easier to swallow. Okay, and then we'll put a dotted corner after here. Okay, and then of course our bar line. Okay, so the way you would count this is like this if you did one. Remember, this is one and, and now we're fitting the two in here. And this is the and, so we got one and two, all in this dotted quarter note, one and two and. So you go ba, ba, or up to speed, if you're doing this in four, it would go uh, one, two, ready, go. Ba, ba, like that. One and two and, one and two and. Ba, ba, like that. One and two and. And then you would have this one, this would be your three, your beat three. So two, beat two is actually falling in the middle here. Okay, beat three is here, and then this is and four and. You can see this has three halves. This also has three halves, right? So you got one and two and, right? And then it goes one and two and three and four and. So ba, ba, uh, uh, ba, 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 like that. One and two and three and four. Sorry, I messed that up. <laughs> One and two and three and four and. Okay, so you go ba, 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 like that. So you can have really cool rhythms this way. If you do that even faster, it sounds really cool. Uh, then you put good music with it. Oops, and you put good music with it and it sounds really cool. Okay, and that's how eighth notes and dotted quarters work. Now you can technically do a dot on this. And then we'll get into more smaller notes than this. You can always get a smaller note just like you can always get a bigger note. There are ways to expand this. We will see that next.